Welcome back everyone to Quest Street War. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and this is the map in which everything has been flipped to its original position like we saw in the last video, or like normally, because, well, it's probably because of a April Fool's Day event, regardless. Right now we gotta go over Baptism by Fire, because last time we finished one of these other focuses, I can't exactly remember which one we were doing when we ended the last episode, I think it was a war like number four though. But baptism by fire. Our soldiers, their families, and the generations of wastelanders before them all have a unique advantage over the natives of this realm. Experience from birth, every child of our land learns the hard way how to survive in the harshest of environments. The life around us, meanwhile, does not share such an experience. We must utilize this advantage. Get more army XP. Division attrition goes down by 10%, as well as heat attrition, supply consumption, a division attack, and defense, which looks pretty darn good. But we must do something with our peepee -pee right now, because... I'll be honest, this looks really not great. <laughs> this, how everything's flipped. Oh, why? Why, 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 why? And the Socialist Republic of Sky Navia declared war on the Northern Tribes. Very cool, very cool. We are mobilizing a little bit more. Let's see. We still have weekly manpower plus 50. Conscription of every ponies. Um, what do we actually have? Oh, it's, it's a conscription probably and the conscription of ponies. Are those the main two? We have that done. It is 10-10, my friend. So let's grab some more cryptology maybe. Perhaps. A couple comments. Um, so one wishes that there was a TNO mandate of Equestria. That'd be kind of cool. Because, you know, like, at the time of this recording, there was an April Fool's event between Red Flood and Equestria at War, which is actually really, really cool. But, like, that'd be really cool if TNO and Equestria at War, which might happen for a April Fool's event someday, maybe. We'll see what happens. Draw the first draft. Get even more population, better training times, and mobilization speed. Utilize our skilled officers, which is what I want to get for more organization recovery rate and reinforce rate. This was not bad, but we're max playing Legacy of Navarro. Pretty good to get, but I want to do an Air Force from scratch first. Where we come from? Aircraft is sparse and almost entirely destroyed. The NCR some, but it can't be built from scratch. So it's now our job to build up our air power by ourselves. But maybe we need some help from these pastel horses, which would be kind of cool. Uh, let's see, additionally, we should try out the Escalation 84 mod. Which is a mod in which humans invade Equestria. So we're the NCR, obviously, and we invade Equestria, but that'd be kind of cool. Humans invade Equestria, and they did a build from scratch, which I should check out some time. Uh, let's see. Can we do anything else here that we really care about? Uh, Arm XP. We're at 64. I'm just waiting for the potential war between. This is so weird, looking to the right to see if the changings are going to go to war with these guys, because we need to be ready to go whenever that happens. Decades of military experience. This is very nice, though. Um, elusive gentleman, we might want to do that, we can't do that one, da, da, da. monthly follower, uh, don't want to hurt that too much. Consumer goods, we've already hurt ourselves, but, oh, for research speed, uh, eh, Victoria Flyers, meh, that's kind of okay. Division attack and defense on core territory might be really, really good. I like this one, though, damage gear, sounds less supply, because you more organization, organization is key to every, uh, are you training? Oh, you are training, you're not hurting yourself, to, uh, an army, so. Uh, import changing aircraft, be kind of nice. I do want to get down here so we get some more daily air XP. But we might want to wait... Uh, uh, it's only 35 days. The new military administration has decided to reach out to the bizarre insectoids to the north known as changelings to assist us in developing our air force. Their queen is a lifelong enemy of Equestria, and so they are more than happy to assist us in developing a bastion against pony encroachment. Very nice. I do want to save some PP just because the worker's empire. What the heck? Um, okay. The fall of Wetter. Francistria. Duchess. Cool. But, like, we have to be ready for when... Hello? Okay. Well, you gotta love a historical, don't you? You gotta love it. Uh, usually they don't win, do they? I don't think... They they're, they're very t tiny. They're very small. But, okay, sure, why not? Why not? Um, uh, changeling lands. We gotta wait for these guys... Or these insectoids to go to war with these ponies... And which, then we'll go to war as well at the same time. Just because that is the only way we're going to be able to, you know, actually do well against these, you know, ponies. Uh, fight reduction, bomb reduction, strategic destruction. I love cast. I love cast, but I want to get some better fighters and maybe naval bombers. Really, uh, it really doesn't matter. Operational integrity versus strategic destruction. I don't usually use that route. Uh, we need all the following. Oh, wait. we Anyway, so we're going to still go fighter. Uh, hmm. 
We're still mobilizing a little bit more fighter doctrine. Our air doctrine must be must focus on establishing superiority in the skies. We shall ensure we possess the greatest air power on the continent, so neither our factories nor our troops will ever be thrown by foreign powers. Screw it. Now I'm going to go down this one first, just in case. Just in case. Honestly, if you strip away the magic and the odd combat tactics, the nations around us are less of a threat to us than the Legion was back home. Fortunately, our officers have plenty of experience dealing with these nut jobs. Now I don't know when the changings are going to go to war with Equestria. Hey, I guess. Do they are they forced to go every to war every single time with Equestria? It's a good question because I don't play this mod nearly enough. But other comments, let's see. I need to play a socialist Farbrook sometime. Socialist Farbrook, let's see. We'll see. Well, you know, we'll get there eventually. Construction. Oh, oh, they're a puppet, huh? Okay, uh, people are killing each other off, but it's not Equestria, so that's fine. Extraction. We could probably use some extraction. We're probably going to need some fuel. Let's grab some decryption power as well. Let's see. And uh. Yes, and someone just did comment from the last video. Bringing ponies freedom with liberty, freedom and liberty through by force. Yep, pretty much. That is the goal. Alright, you guys are doing alright. Um, let's get more division attack and defense because that's, you know, that's, you know, 7.5, 7.5. This happens on every single tower regardless of where you're at. So, Old Man Finch, I think, is pretty much where we want to be. And of course, we're led by Ranger Sutton, too. So, Stalin Stalingrad is very angry. Alright, what are we still building? Some civvies? That's nice, but we're not building fast enough, so... What's the quest you're up to? Put down the magic... Hmm? Put down the magic of friendship. What is that? The times are changing? Urgent war committee. War plan. Enact war plan. The question weapon of mass destruction. Huh. Okay. Mutually sure destruction is the way they're going, I guess. And Legacy Navarro. <laughs> That, might, that would be pretty good to do. Let's encourage uh, further arm shipments. I want to develop infantry designs first, just because we can always get better guns, right? By piecing together designs that survive the Great War back home with those that exist in the world around us, we could dramatically boost our knowledge of ballistic weapons, possibly giving us the edge over the locals. And I think... Oh! Okay! A Solar Civil War! Okay, I am pretty okay with that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this balanced? What happened here? How does this spawn? Princess Luna versus... Huh. Daybreaker. Time immemorial. It's kind of hot, huh? Portrait by Two-Tail-813. Well, thank you, Two-Tail-813. What is... I don't think I've ever seen the Civil War here happen, actually, before. Oh, so Princess Luna's... Huh. Twilight Sparkle's been captured. Uh-oh. Imperium Solum. Uh, they're supremacists. Do I go to war now? Do I not? Do the changings not go to war with these guys? Um. Has new Maryland as a protectorate. You're fighting these two, and you're fighting just one. I don't know if it's really worth it to go to war with them. I kind of want to wait and see a little bit to see what happens. Stal Stalingrad, you're just going to kill everyone, aren't you? Or at least... Oh, they're still struggling over here, though. I don't know if it's really worth getting involved yet. Then again, they're looking pretty darn weak, and if we rush in... Oh, are we suffering from supply issues? Oh, we have, we have too many divisions here? Hmm. Oh, we're missing our guns right now. Ooh, do we go to war now or wait? Ooh. Ooh, that is a tough question. Because how fast will Equestria fall? Will the changing go to war with the Solar Empire? 48. They might have equal number of divisions. We might be able to do well against them, but the Commonwealth of New Maryland as well? That's, that's not easy, I guess, but... They're all the way over here as well. They're harmony, but there's supremacy and they're harmony. Why are you fighting them then? What are they doing? Imperium Solarum. Heat attrition? Every enemy country. Scorching sun. Oh, it seems like if we don't do anything, that's going to be even more difficult to fight them. Oh, I don't want to go to war right now. I really don't. How much manpower do they, pony power do they got? Quite a bit. Oh, we actually have an airbase. Look at that. No, oh, I didn't realize that.
Could we actually win? That's my biggest question. Could we actually win? Infantry divisions. If we had cavalry, <laughs> but that'd be nice, but we do need field hospitals. How much how much should we have? We don't have enough. Mm. We could try it. We could divert soldiers away from Equestria. But that's a civil war. So even if we do get involved, it doesn't mean that Oh, there's civil war, look at that. Um they would just get all the territory back, wouldn't they? So, uh, maybe it's best to wait. What, what are these guys doing then? Like, I don't remember when I... I did play the Changelings before. Plan Alicorn Sunset. They might go to war still, so... Uh. Oh, wait, hold on. We can maybe seize them now? Okay, so we tried this yesterday. You know what? Mm, they might still do okay. You know what? I'm going to save the game first. Let's save the game. And you can see all my game saves. Yeah, that's pretty fast. So, no, or to, uh, 1v1. These guys have... We might be better. You know what? We'll try it. And of course, there's like 60 one right now. Come on, come on. Ah, we take the Aetherlands. Quietly around dawn, several co companies of our soldiers slip across the border into the contested Aetherlands. The t task is simple. One cannot fight a war to defend territory that the enemy already controls, and if they are quick, they can take the Aetherlands before defeatance can be mounted. Our troops surprise the enemy in his bed, rolling him out and taking him prisoner. They plant the flag in settlements and set up checkpoints on all the roads. By noon the next day, they have complete control over a large part of the Aetherlands. Success! But is that really success we really want? Because that hurts our garrisons and such, so... Is that really success? I guess it does give us time to put down um, resistance and get more compliance. So do we have uh, intelligence? Oh, we have no intelligence. Uh, I don't like that. I guess we'll go with this one, maybe? Rook? That's not a cool name. So if you guys can come up with a better name for us for this campaign, please let me know in the comments below. We are supremacists here, so. Um, Garrison's, yeah, that's pretty much all we can do for now, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Firebrook Chieftain. Delay, nice. Grab some of that, too. I'd like to do... Ooh, baby. Yeah, we could probably do that. Let's go do that. They're not even there, so... And technically, this would help attack them. Uh, move up our border with them so we can get further into their territory. Because there's just so much here. Where, are you moving up to... Oh, you actually are there. That's nice. Cool. Seize your snort... Tora Desert. While Snor Tora uh, Desert is worthless by itself, lacking in any useful resources, its seizure is important for an eventual goals and expansion, unless a division of rangers were to deploy. And yet again, they proved their worth seizing the entirety of the region and driving out enemy forces before they could even react properly. One more. Tiny step. Very nice. Oh, actually, go right there. What happened to our... What the heck? Oh, you, I mean, you're sick and all, but still. Uh, you're, uh, you're pretty close, so it doesn't really matter. This seems really hard. I mean, Equestria still has the same tree, right? Yeah, I think they do have the same tree. I've played them once. Yeah, it looks like they do. Maybe. God. Ooh. God Empress? What does that one do? They want. They get more attack. A solar Cult. Daily Supremacy Support. They really are supremacists. So, are, will they fight these guys? It's hard to tell. So, what's the point of taking this territory? Like, if we don't get cores on it, there's... Not there's nothing literally here, and we literally need to build up infrastructure here so we don't like die. So why? Let's grab some of that because it's way too ahead of time. And um, research speed, yeah. So I don't really see the point of why we took that. I mean, we can, but why? It seems like it's only going to hurt us. But legacy of Navarro, maybe. Um, pony power, yeah, that'd be kind of nice. Army XP. Uh, well, I guess we'll do. Rethink support battalions. The support battalions we've used back home are fantastic for the small scales they revolve around. Some of them are hopeless in this new situation, however. Have you tried throwing dynamite at a flying pony? We need to rethink some of our support weapons, it seems. Probably. Or anything else help put down resistance and such? We'll just do whatever we can for that one. Ooh, I'm not going to hurt my recruitable population factor. I refuse to. Pat, Patriot, Burke. Uh... I guess we can go with that one. That's, hmm. I'd like to re. Uh, yeah, I mean, if we even re we lowered the resource is and gave them more to the market, that wouldn't really solve anything for us here. Ooh. I could go to war now, but I might have to redo that later. Yeah, they're doing pretty well. Yeah, I don't like that. That's a lot of manpower. Wow. Oldenstadt. 
Please go to war with them. Come on, Queen Crystals. You have to go to war with them, right? Uh, I can't remember. Oh, they can go to war with them eventually. So they probably will. War is inevitable, so that'll be good. Who do we want? Anna Walker, human, with a smooch smooch. Juliet Walker. Or Alex Jones. Well, you don't look like the Alex Jones I know and remember. So we'll probably go with uh, uh, Walker here. Human and Natural Order or the one with the big lips. I personally would prefer the one with the big lips, but Natural Order. She knows how to speak. Thank you. And you will help put down resistance. That'd be good. Well, at least we got it. That's kind of nice, but doesn't help us out that much. Um... You know what? Since they're not even starving anyways, which is kind of unusual, that's fine. They'll probably demand that territory back, though, eventually, which is not a very good thing, huh? Well, there goes Equestria. End of the Solar Civil War. Uh, hopefully Stalingrad as well, but looks like, are they pushing, getting pushed in? Are they pushing in? Sinister Serov is here, so... Um, yeah, not much else, but I could, three things support battalions. I think we'll go with the Fighter Doctrine. So, that one will be next. I think we already read this one, so... Our air doctrine must focus on establishing superiority in the skies. We shall ensure we possess the greatest air power on the continent, so neither our factories nor our troops will ever be threatened by foreign powers, which would be good. It's only 35 days, and I do want to get some air XP since we are not using too much air for now. But we can train these guys if we really want to. We don't have enough planes, though. We're going to need way more planes. And <laughs> way more manpower. Oh, no. I already go ahead and get Jim Smith. I think that's the one that's probably the best, the most. Stalingrad. Oh, Stalingrad. Okay, I'm okay with that. I'm 100% okay with that. If Stalingrad um, and the Changings go to war with Equestria, then that would be pretty good for us, I think. Ooh, it's 10, 11. What else are we gonna do around here? Grab some of this SMGs. Yeah, nine millimeter SMGs. We're gonna shoot ponies with. That sounds really terrible to do in real life. So let's not do that in real life. But whatever. Better artillery. Sure, why not? Get 1.4 every day, and then after fight adoption, otherworldly aluminum. Aluminum for aircraft seems to be a relatively rare resource in these new lands. While we know of some deposits up north, they all lie within equestrian borders. Thankfully, back home, aluminum is in abundance, and it will be not hard as to strong arm the government back home into sending some over for us. Nice. After that one, we need to do all three of these, which kind of sucks, so we'll probably go with fighter models next, modern fighter models. Combat aircraft meant to establish dominance in the skies are key to any air force. They will allow our other planes to operate more effectively and ensure enemy aircraft to not cause damage to our soldiers or industry. Vedina seems like it's having a civil war as well. Good luck, Vedina. Good luck. So, uh, resistance is 4%, 7%. That's actually pretty good. Compliance is 7 That's not bad. That's not, that's not bad. Not too bad, actually. Oh, oh, we can do another operative. Nice. John Williams. Is that the composer? With big lips. Anna Smith. She can punch you really hard. An escape artist. Um, I'm going to go with Anna just because it's more fitting for a campaign like us right now. So, And uh, modern fighters. That would be very nice. And then heavy fighters. Those are okay. I'd rather get casts. I'll be honest. I prefer casts. Just a little faster. But I, uh, new tactical bombers will probably go with this one just because we, are, we could probably use them and we can make them. Oh, crap. Uh, so we'll go with this one. Tactical bombers are flexible aircraft that can be used against military or civilian targets. The, this versatility will be high, so highly useful in the wars to come. Um, that's not good, guys. You're not done with the penguins. You're not done with the kingdom of Yakyakistan. Oh, hold on. The border, whirring. Are they pushing in or out? What is going on? They have up to 68 divisions. Uh, I think it's time we have to go to war. Let's stop training them first, though. Three. Two. One. We gotta go with service by requirement. We don't have enough manpower. Pony power. Alright, so this is not gonna be great, but we'll do the best we can, and we'll micro as much as possible. I need you guys to go right in, I guess. 1v1, who can win? What do they have on them? Ah, oh, they're actually not too bad. They got some support already, too, so that's not too bad for them. They're not attacking us yet. They probably will eventually, though. Nice. Help support the attack. Anything else around here? I'd love to attack here, but we probably don't want to get encircled either. 
1v1, you might be able to win. 1v2v1, 3v1, you probably will be able to win. Looks like we got him so far. Uh, if you guys can move into there, that'd be really good. Actually, you probably just beat him up that way. All right, you guys go there, you guys go there, and you guys do your best. Try not to die too much. Jam Town? Is that where you can like jam out, or you get a lot of jam? I like either one. Man, this is not this is not boating well if we're struggling this much. Not bad. Ooh. All right, so they have a wide range of divisions. We've gotten rid of 20,000 of them already, so that's not bad, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, we can do that one still, but we can get more stability, but wait. Like you see in a barrel, let's do this one immediately. Draw the first draft. Uh, we have little choice at the present but to drop a draft of young beings loyal to the cause to enlist in our armies. Without a draft, we will be powerless to bring democracy to the wasteland. Pretty much. Oh, crap. Now they're starting to attack us. That is not bueno. Changelings, please do something. Maybe we should have waited for this war. Maybe we really should have waited. Are these guys 40 combat width? They might literally be 40 combat width. That would still be bad for us. As long as we can hold for... Oh, oh baby. That is not good. Whoa! Oh, that's a lot of stuff happening there. What have not... Have you guys on auto deploy already? There you go. Yeah, we just don't have enough divisions to cover the entire line. This is very not good. Please not get... Oh, crap. They're coming down. Mobile defense is nice. We'll grab some of this as well. Maybe you can encircle and destroy them. Maybe. Maybe you can support the attacks to help, help them out. Oh, it's not looking good for us. We got some 9mm SMGs though. Let's grab some more defense and breakthrough. That's going to good. Good, good. Beat him back. A little bit, please. Um, lost 5,000. That's not good. 49,000, please. Changings. Come on, you got to come into the war, right? You got to come into the war. Maybe we should have not gone to war already. Fallback line. Oh, baby. That's just not good. But if you guys go into there and circle the tanks. Eh, well, god dang it. Just don't get yourself into the false selling good. Oh, crud. Take him out. Take him out. Don't worry about attacking. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Keep him in place. Don't worry about it. Rockville would be nice to get. Very good, very good, very good. Oh, they wanted to escape. And we got another division gone. Nice. They still have so many divisions. This was a mistake. Come on. Please go to, go to war with them. How did they both get in there faster than we did? Man. This isn't very good now, is it? It's not looking good. Um, we can encircle divisions, no problem, but we only have 24. 24, 20 combat with divisions, which is obviously not very bueno. Oof. I mean, as long as we can circle a division at a time, we'll do okay, but we need a little bit more than just doing this to do well. Come on. Uh, oh, requisition. Why don't you guys go that way, maybe? That's actually a smart thing to do. Oh, baby. You want to keep them in place for now. Where are you going, son? You don't want to have unnecessary casualties. Oh, wait, what? We actually have to go in there, too? Well, that sucks. Don't worry about that, guys. Go into here if you can. 
Hold for now. Never mind. You guys should be able to win here, though. Oh, crap. We got a circle there. Okay, this was a bad idea. If the changing don't go to war soon, I'm probably just going to fanangle with stuff off screen. Or just kind of reset us back to an earlier starting point. That's really bad. That's incredibly bad. Well, if they're going to die, I'd rather just keep the manpower. At least 10% or 20%, whatever the number is. Come on, get down here. Come on, come on. Push up so you don't have to worry about defending all this empty land. Well, we've lost 12,000. Oh, we've done a good job so far, but Stalingrad, you, the, one of the greatest disappointments was Stalingrad, man. How did you move faster than us? No, 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 no. How dare you. Another tank there? Are you kidding me, man? Crap. Well, at least you got in there for now. Draw the first draft. Legacy of Navarro. The Battle of Navarro, in which our brave Californian troops fought alongside the Brotherhood of Steel against the twisted enclave insurgents intent on exterminating most of humanity, changed your military thinking forever. It taught us the value of planning, the value of being flexible. We must remember these lessons if we are to thrive in Equestria. Destruction of Stalingrad. You guys hold that if you can't kill them. Like, seriously. Hurt them hard. Sack of Skyfall, so be it. Go in there, come on. Oh! Alright, well that's interesting. You might want to help him out, son. You might not want to die. There you go, you finally got him. Goodness, it took forever. Just kill him off that way. Empire Strikes Back? Okay, there we go. Oh baby, that would not have been very good. Now, they should have, like, very few divisions on their... Well, fewer divisions. Since they have to... Oh, wow. That is nice. That is very nice. Please, changelings, do your worst to them. Please, please, please. Nice. Too bad we can't join them because I chose the wrong focus, but whatever. We still have to be very, very careful here, but the fall of Van Hoover, very nice. Oh, please tell me you're overrunning them. Please tell me you're overrunning them like crazy. Ooh, that is not good. Just going to retreat to a defense, more defensive position. That'd be nice. Oh, they're actually attacking us some more, huh? Uh, go and retreat too. That's fine. Yeah, to try to get 40 combo with divisions here, that'd be a really bad idea. They're attacking like crazy, man. You should be able to win that one. Especially when they have no, like... Like, special divisions and such, so... Oh boy, oh boy. Come on, changelings, you've done a great job so far. A tremendous job. Keep going, keep going. Alright. Oh god, this is not looking good now, is it? Hopefully, we distract them long enough so that we can kill them, or the changelings can kill them. They do have your superiority, which sucks too, so. Come on, man. I think the X NCR expedition needs a little bit of a buff. No, not maybe not a huge buff, but 50 weekly manpower is nice and all, but it's just really not enough. Lose his tall tail, that's good. I think the main thing we gotta do is just hold on. We just gotta hold on as long as possible. Go and retreat, that's fine. You're not gonna be able to win there, that's fine. Go and leave, leave there too, that's fine. Go and, can you actually. Re Ooh, actually, you know what? You stay there, then. Go down there. Hmm. Could get some more of that. War support, too. Actually, we should be able to go to war economy. That'd be actually better. Uh, yeah, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that, either. It's been a pretty bloody war so far. The Revolutionary Decree? Cool. The changes have done more casualties. Good. I've inflicted more casualties on them now. Hopefully, this is enough for these guys to do well. How many divisions do they have? 151. Oh, yeah, that's, they should do well. Even though they do the Crystal Empire, they have to fight as well. Which, 
might have a few divisions. You know, maybe. Ooh, man. Stop baiting me with empty division holes. Or empty holes. If you see a hole, you gotta fill it or enter it. Hmm. Nice. Oh, the bra of my geocracy is gone. Very cool. Artillery pieces. Heavy fighters. Oh, and more output. Robots are wonderful if you have the equipment to maintain them. They work hard, they don't need breaks, and best of all, they don't complain about the substandard drinks in the cafeteria. In fact, we should employ some more of them in our factories and dockyards. Good idea. Focus on one encirclement at a time. There you go. Do not let them move. Go right on in as well. Let the mountaineers come on in. And there you go. I know I can support the attack, but I'm a little lazy. There you go. And you didn't really lose too much. Ooh, they're attacking us too. Look at that. I'd love to make a break for the Lost Pegasus, but eh. Still have divisions on almost every tile. Almost every single one of them. We might be able to come down here too. We might be able to do something down here, actually. How deep can I go before they start attacking? Okay, now they're going to start moving in. Go right there. You might be able to do well. You're going to like the way you look. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Popular musician performs a candle. Very cool. Swell, swell, swell. Nice. You guys head up there. You guys help them out. And now they're attacking us. And they might do well. I mean, we can't really hold too much here. Especially when... Man, they are... Baby. Oh, baby. I hope the changelings... Wow. The changelings are doing very well. Jesus. Keep going, changelings. Don't give up. Nice. That's actually really nice. Hopefully they don't want to kill us. They have up to 70 divisions left. And a chunk of them are on our lands trying to kill us off, which is... Probably not a smart thing for them to do, but you know what? Whatever. There you go. Very nice. The north is all pretty much untouchable. Robotic workforce is nice, though. Oh, we'll grab co-op stable tech. While a few scant remains, remnants of the old vault tech survived the nuclear exchange, some examples of our technology made it out the gateway and into Equestrian. Indeed, some very enterprising ponies with some very bright ideas have decided to start up their own company based on vault tech. Stable tech. The results they are currently delivering show promise and an offer to co-op them should be probably streamlined and, you know, put into practice. Appaloosa? I remember of Appaloosa when I played Balefire Blues. That's a pretty fun sub mod. Well, not sub mod, but just its own thing. I should play some more Balefire Blues sometime. Can we go in here and see what they do? You go north, huh? That's odd. Okay, well, whatever. What if we went this way, actually, instead? Ah, I see what you're doing. Now cut all these guys off. Oh, yeah, that's very nice. And don't worry about that. They, you... Oh. Actually, that was actually a gift to us. Oh, very nice. Very cool. 61 divisions left. Yeah, I don't think they'll be able to hold against the changing lands. Yeah, with us just slowly encircling them, and them even losing divisions themselves. Uh, I think we're doing quite well. You, sometimes you have to take things nice and slow and don't rush things. Sometimes rush things. I guess that's why they have the saying, haste makes waste. What if we went crazy? We went to found Mount... F <laughs> Fort Morn. Fount Mount? Go on, call you Fount Mount. The Shy has fallen. Oh, and so is one of our divisions. Well, that's alright. We'll kill these guys off first. You guys hold for now. Pinto Creek. Co-op stables. Heavy fighters. Larger fighter chassis equipped with larger fuel tanks and heavier frames would allow fighter aircraft to operate with a much longer range than a small craft. We can use these planes as escorts for bombers or similar operations to ensure we always get where we need to safely. How did you lose? You're not going to lose. I'm not going to lose those soldiers. I refuse to. Go in, go in. 
Yep, we still might lose him. If we do lose him, I'm just going to kill every single one of these guys off then as fast as possible. Go in. You can't give up on him. God dang it. Oh, I'm going to kill so many ponies now. So many ponies are going to die. Get down there. Get down there. No, you're not leaving. You ain't... Why did you leave? I'm about ready to kill every pony we see. This is so dumb. Description, you kill off one of our divisions, we'll kill ten of yours, man. We're going to strip for the fort. Straight for the fort. Screw these guys. Keep them in place. Kill them all off. You're going straight on in and circle and kill them all. Come on, guys. Oh, you wanted to leave? So did my division. Die, you pieces of garbage. You guys head on down here. That's fine. Oh, we've almost reached their lands. We're almost at the point where we can contest them as well. Uh, we might just go straight on in, actually. Maybe. I mean, over, oh, the top part of the, the range here is not very good. So maybe we'll wait. Heavy fighters are nice. Uh, enemy or army air support squadrons. Aircraft made specifically for supporting ground troops are called close air support. While the finer points of air warfare still elude us, we know having a big metal machine shooting at your enemies from above is one heck of an asset. Yes, it is. You're not going to kill us off. If anything, I'm going to come down here and kill you off. Where are you going? You don't want to die? Well, he should have told my soldiers that before he killed him off. Go. Flood him, flood him, flood him, flood him, flood him. Buy enough time for the changings to do very, very well down here. Okay, guys, seriously. Can you go? Sergeant Chris Burke, infantry expert. Actually, you still should have a Chris Assaulter. An offensive Assaulter, maybe eventually. Anything else? No, that's alright. Give it some time, give it some time, we'll do fine. Take as much land as possible so we can get some more war score participation, even though we have played of the peace conferences installed. God dang, the changing's did great, but we still killed a quarter million of them off ourselves, so that ain't too bad for us. I hope we actually have too much of that. Grab some more engineers. We actually do have engineer companies, so that's not too bad. I didn't say do that. I said go up there. The fall of Lost Pegasus. Nice. Kill them all off and leave none alive. I need you guys to go there and go to Rockville and go up to find the changing's Link up with the changelings. Californian Flying Fortresses. Strategic bomber aircraft or planes made specifically to target industrial targets. These planes are often called Flying Fortresses. Wait, Flying Fortresses? Heck, we have some of them back home. These things were these were the things that dropped the bombs over the Mojave. Ah, we can build these things. Don't worry. Heck, from above, here we come. Nice. Very nice. 10-12. Not bad, not bad. Magical weapons would be nice, but, uh, recon. Kind of wait. 10-12, eh? 10-11? Sure, why not? Rockville, take it. We've got it. They're cut off. They might be able to beat up some of our guys, but we'll beat the crap out of them if we needed. We've link linked up with the Changelings, who still probably don't like us that much, but I don't care. Please, please, what the heck are you going? No, no, don't get in circle. Please don't get in circle. Come on, man. Good. Good. No, no, no. I said go this way. Don't let him in. Okay, that's not bad. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Alright, that's fine. We do need to technically keep pushing, but we don't have the resources, and the soldiers aren't on the board yet. California Flying Fortresses, humanity rules the skies. So it turns out that the human body is quite good at piloting aircraft, especially when compared to our pony neighbors. This gives us a distinct advantage in aerial warfare and any military engagements. Humanity will dominate the skies of the world for the glory of the NCR. 
Just go ahead, guys. I, hopefully they can't keep up with us, but you never know. Um, it'd be better to just snipe that those two tiles off, but you know, I guess we'll do whatever. It's fine. Chief of the Navy, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, this means neither of these mean anything to us, so it's, I guess well, that one doesn't really matter. So, leave it to the AI to be dummies. Don't don't leave. If anything, attack here so we can get in there first. That's more important. Come on, Changing, just keep going. Yeah, I don't think they can really get recover from this. I could be wrong. I could be, very well be, but you never know. You never really know. Now that's nice. But you better hurry up and kill them. Good engineers are nice. Um, it's not that heavy time to do that one anyways. Come on, guys. You can do this. Don't work harder. Work smarter. I might as well help out then. There you go. Guys, guys, guys. Why do I, I don't understand the frontline system sometimes where it does this. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Encourage new volunteers. Do you hate fighting in the heat of the Baja? Does patrolling the Mojave almost make you wish for a nuclear winter? Well, brave soldier of the NCR, you have a route out. Enlist today for the NCR Expeditionary Force Equestria. Come join us in a land of magic, mystery, and ponies. Yeah, you heard us right. So have a chat to su your superior officer today and ask for a transfer to your placement. You won't forget. Ain't that the truth. You ain't never gonna forget this. Yeah, we're only saved a little bit by the changelings. We love the changelings. Oh, at first I thought we got in a circle. I would have been mm, not happy. Yeah, they... How many divisions do they have left? Up to 32. They might have actually the same number of divisions that we have. Yeah, go and do that. Go ahead. They actually have medium tanks and light tanks too. Okay, well, they're encircled, so... At least we got in there before they did, so that's nice. That's good. Alright, so let's, point, let's get the guys on the line, get some slight bit of planning. I think these guys are pretty much dead, so. And a 70 day focus. Ooh, baby, that's a long time. That is a long, 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 long time. The fall of Crystal City, very nice. Go up this way, guys. Come on. You, I don't mind attacking, but you have to be smart about it. Somewhat smart. There you go. You guys give up the attack literally? Wow, that's pretty bad. Uh, get some cast, I guess. How did you? What the? They're doing last stand. Yeah, they're definitely doing last stand. Look at that. It's not dropping. That's smart of the AI to do. That's actually kind of smart. I'm kind of impressed. But if they're doing last stand against us, that means they can't do last... Well, they might be able to do somewhat of last stand against uh, the changelings, but... Not very smart of them to do that. Uh, grab some radar, even though we're not probably going to use it. We got atomic research done. Nice. Uh, I'm not really sure what else to research. That's slightly ahead of time, but whatever. It doesn't really matter at this point. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. Ooh, baby. It must be pretty hot down there. Well, we've killed roughly a million, half a million, roughly half a million with 25 divisions, so I'm feeling pretty pleased about that. We still get plus 50 weekly manpower, pony power, whatever we want to call it, but, like, it's obviously not nearly enough. Fifteen divisions left, and they have so much manpower left. Wow. That is nuts. Encourage new volunteers is very nice. How about we can call them the NCR military? Our expedition has shown much promise, but we clearly lack the numbers to conquer this land for ourselves. We must call in further divisions of the NCR military to help us take control of Equestria. Regiment of combat teams, very, 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 very nice. Mechanized offensives, thank you. Very good, very good. We still going? We not going? What's going on? Oh, you, no, we're not. Go right ahead, that's fine. Get rid of that one. Uh, 
Oh, these guys deal with it. Keep moving down if we can. Down through here, perhaps, yes. Go, go, go. Even supplies, I'm sure, is pretty bad, but that's why we got better supply consumption, right? How many guns are we missing? Only 15,000. Wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Get more stability, too. After that one, we'll probably do the last ace in a lost hand. The NCR Rangers are the best of the best. Elite, disciplined, incredibly well trained. No foe can stand before them and walk away unscathed. As such, they have been our greatest asset in this new land, and it's thanks to them and them alone we are here still to this day. Nice. Even though we're not using special forces at all, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Oh, we got guys here? Oh! Baltimore's lost, the Solar Empire's gone, changing state Man Manhattan. So. Oh, we're still with the war with them down there. Does it end the war? Please tell me it ends the war between us. It might. Maybe Maybe we just gotta wait. Maybe we just gotta wait, you know? Oh, we definitely expanded. Well, technically, it should be. That direction is east, but we went west. So. Um. Yeah, it is what it is. There's not really much we can do about it, but okay. Is that it? That might be it, though. Uh, Conquest of Paradise, of course. So that might be it, but let me go ahead and check a few things first. Alright, everyone. So I think that's pretty much all that we have for this campaign. Obviously, we didn't really win, but we did win. Ultimately, we did win. I don't think we can even peace out with these guys, which kind of sucks, but... It is what it is. They're still... Actually, they're still, uh, still fighting everyone else, so... I don't think there's anything else for the new California military governor, but it's been a lot of fun. But let's go through uh, the other focuses that we can real quick. Conquest of Paradise. Well, it might sound cruel and even unnecessary to some if we want to persist on this world, and furthermore, if we want to save the NCR and maybe even all of humanity that has been confined to a burned world, we're going to have to conquer this great paradise, which we're not going to, obviously, but... I mean, technically we could, but we were... Look at that manpower. Wow. Um... We actually got the five other divisions from the from uh, this focus as well, but that wasn't too bad. Uh, uh, Call the NCR military too. So, uh, form the Equestrian Legion. Surprisingly enough, it seems that even within the policies of the previous leadership, many of the inhabitants of the Paradise idealize and desire to join a glorious republic. While most of them lack proper training, they are truly patriots at heart, and thus will be allowed to serve in our armies as we fight for the true future of the NCR humanity. So we get more daily compliance gain, which is actually very, very useful. Incredibly useful, which makes things, you know, just easier to core and such, but that's okay. And we're getting stuff from other people. Great! Awesome! Sure, we'll take that too. Improved production methods. Surprising though it may seem, machines and tools designed to be used by ponies don't really operate as expected in human hands. We need to retool our production or we'll lag behind our neighbors, expand production hubs. The factories for producing arms we currently possess are sufficient for an army half our number. We must drastically raise or scale both up the production of weaponry, the extraction of materials, and needed to produce them using crystals. Scattered throughout this realm seem to be mysterious crystals which are imbued with some sort of magical energy. With some effort and more theft of local designs than our science division would like to admit, we seem to be able to convert these crystals into an equivalent number of nuclear power. These crystals can be used to power our machines, tools, and homes. Very cool. And then, uh... We can't do this one yet, but we will be able to eventually. Manufacture crystal weapons. Not only can crystals be utilized for power, but it also appears we can... Oh! Okay! They actually invaded and took them out. Wow. Uh, I apologize for that. I want to finish that reading the focus, but wow. Um, I want to take whatever I can first. So we'll maybe take this. Everything is south of the river here. They don't have claims on this, which is good. So they won't go to war with us. We just got to keep an eye on how much we take. Wow. This is unexpected, but okay. This is a lot of score. I did click a lot, so we do have played of the peace conferences on, if I didn't say earlier. It's every time uh, we do a campaign, I always leave what mods we're using in the description below anyway, so hey, Tenochtitlan. Tenochtitlan is still there. Huh. Do I deserve any of these? Probably not, but I'm gonna take them anyways. Baltimore, nice. I wanna think everything under this river, so. Eh, Shiny Sword, why not? Boring fields. Okay, we'll give everything else to the other group then. Ooh, I would like Philadelphia, though. We really don't deserve sunny, sunny shores as is, but let's see. How much would that take for these guys? Ooh, 5,000. There you go. And give us a little bit more score so we can give all the score to the changing so that they can take everything. God, it runs so fast. Thank you, devs. Thank you if you're watching. Um, what was it? This one? 
Uh, so we've unreliable firearms. Shady Sands will be certainly be keen to hear this development. Weapons of old and materials of new. After not but a few weeks of trying, with good few accidents thrown in for good measure, we've finally been able to scratch out a rough prototype for a horrifying weapon of our ancestors powered by materials of local populations. Nuclear bombs! That's right, nukes! The crystals buried in the land around us hold a terrifying potential to end life on a scale not even our ancestors could have dreamed of. Further arms requisitions? We desperately need more firearms if we're to survive and thrive in this new lab. We must request you have more arms for our masters back home. They don't need them as much as we do. We all know of one of these ponies that could take down a squadron or a squad of legionnaires without breaking a sweat. Wait, do they even sweat? And recruit new rangers. The rangers have always been a small force. There has thus been a severe reluctance to expand the ranger corps at all beyond covering casualties. However, we are governing over an ever-expanding territory, so we must expand this ranger to, to comp compensate for this, training new rangers for our new realm. The rangers were the first to even begin to comprehend magic, and so it is that they should be able to first to attempt to manipulate it. By augmenting their wealth of experience, training, and discipline with the wonders of equestrian magic, it seems that the rangers will indeed remain the last thing you'll ever see. And I kind of want to read any more, but if you want to read about the artillery pieces, please go right ahead. Deploy the NCR Motorized Core. Armor of the Motorized Core versus Exploit the Old World Advantage, please go right ahead. New World Bombers, Torpedo Bombers, as well as the Gateway the Gateway City Agriculture Institute as work with landholders. But, like I said, I think that's pretty much it for uh, this campaign because there's really not much else. But it's been fun. And let's take a look at resistance. It is slowly going up. And compliance is also slowly going up. Wow, we already have 76% here. That'd be cool if we could court like an old world blues. But, hey, we still have 4,000. Never mind. 200 some manpower. But if you enjoyed the video and this very short campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in a different video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.